Hello and welcome to my channel. We are now one week into the release of Integrated Strategies 2 Crimson Solitaire event. Some of you might be wondering how to unlock the three main bosses, so without further ado, let's dive into this guide. The three big bosses are Lucian, or better known as Blood Diamond, Big Sad Lock and Troop Mouthpiece. Following this sequence, each boss can only be unlocked after the boss before it has been defeated once, for example, the requirements to unlock Big Sad Lock will only be made available after you defeat Lucian. Moving on to the respective bosses, first, we have Blood Diamond. This is the first main boss of IS-2 you'll face at the end of your run. There are no requirements to unlock him, just complete all the IS stages until the final boss stage on Floor 5 and he will be waiting for you there. Next up, we have Big Sad Lock. To unlock it, you'll have to get this particular encounter. You'll have to then spend one hope to get a collectible called Worn Out Puppet. After that, the Big Sad Lock boss will automatically be unlocked and will be there on the final boss stage. To make life easier, you might get this particular encounter during your run. You can then spend 3 life points to obtain a collectible called Useless Scissors. Only with this collectible will you get a chance to get this particular encounter. You can then take the letter from the dude and the boss will be unable to heal itself. Now, I will be making detailed guides for all three bosses and suggest ways to defeat them easily soon so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Lastly, we have the Troop Mouthpiece. To unlock it, you need to get this particular encounter and take the item the dude gives you. After defeating the third floor's boss, a unique collectible will appear only if you took the item mentioned before. Take the collectible and later in the run, you'll have to meet another encounter that activates the troop mouthpiece boss, after which, a new sixth floor will appear and the final stage of this floor will be the boss fight. And that is all for this short guide. Hope this video is helpful in introducing the steps to activate all the boss fights. I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.